a wonderful daughter and sister who brought so much joy and always put others first. That's how the family of Sarah Everard described her. This afternoon, they received a devastating update that the body found on Wednesday has been identified as her. My thoughts and prayers and those of the entire organisation remain with her and with them at this awful time. I know that the public feel hurt and angry about what has happened. And those are sentiments that I share personally. And I know my colleagues here at Scotland Yard and across the Met share as well. I also recognise the wider concerns that are being raised quite rightly about the safety of women in public spaces. Ms Everard's body was discovered on this land, close to a disused paintball centre near Ashford. There is an extensive police operation ongoing in these secluded woodlands. This is about as close as we can get, and we're told there are 150 officers involved, including specialist diving teams. They're carefully combing through the site. A serving police officer remains in custody in connection with this case. He is in the Parliamentary and Diplomatic Protection Command, which means he's authorised to use firearms. He was arrested at his home in Deal on suspicion of kidnap and murder of the 33-year-old. Sarah Everard was last seen alive on the 3rd of March, walking home in South London. This is the only CCTV image released by police so far. The Met has confirmed to Channel 4 News it is also investigating two separate incidents of indecent exposure at a fast food restaurant in South London on the 28th of February. And the force itself is now being investigated by the police watchdog, the IOPC, over how Met police officers responded to a report of indecent exposure on the same day. So there may be serious questions for the Met about its handling of this case. The force is already facing criticism for attempting to stop women holding a vigil under coronavirus laws. Reclaim the Streets campaigners want to express their grief over Sarah Everard's murder and concern over women's safety. They were forced to go to court after the Met declared it was illegal. I don't know why it's ever ended up in court. I think the Metropolitan Police have woefully mishandled it. They should have sat down uh, with those women's organisations who are not exactly a lawless mob. They are just women who want to call attention to this awful situation. Why should a woman have to live in fear? Why should she have to look over her shoulder? Why should she be subject to an unofficial curfew where she can't go out running after dark? I totally understand uh, why this has triggered such a wave of feeling on, on this issue. No uh, woman should walk our, our streets in fear. Every woman uh, should feel able to walk our streets uh, in safety. Yet tonight, as women continue to talk about how to make our lives safer, and questions are asked of the Met Police, one woman has already lost her life in terrible circumstances. Sarah Everard, a woman whose family say was a shining example to us all. And in the last few minutes, we have received that judgment from the High Court and campaigners have not got the outcome they wanted. They wanted the judge to say that a ban on gatherings shouldn't apply to their vigil because under human rights law, they have the right to protest. The judge refused to intervene. So as it stands, the official vigils in London and elsewhere in cities such as Bristol will be cancelled. Whether women unofficially gather remains to be seen. Now, the Met Police say while they understand the anger and they have sympathy for the cause that campaigners want to to protest about in the context of coronavirus. They cannot allow gatherings because of the risk to public health. I think it's worth reflecting. We are at the end of a week that has been incredibly upsetting and traumatic, first and foremost for Sarah Everard's friends and family, also for the very many women who this case has particularly resonated with. But lastly, for the Met, who have also had a torrid week and again end up with very many questions to answer.